Yeah. Whenever you want. All right. So for people who don't know you, um, who are you and what do you do? I'm Rough Stuff. Uh, I'm a drum and bass DJ, producer from South London. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you DJed for? Uh, many, many years. Um, over 20 years now. Okay. Over 20 years I've been on the circuit playing various clubs and countries and places and stuff. So what made you do it as a career as opposed to as like a hobby? Um, it's my passion and when I realised that it was something I was actually pretty good at, um, I suppose it just it grew and grew and grew. I was doing my other things, stuck in the diamond as a kid and it wasn't it wasn't going anywhere fast in that terms of the the street life, the growing up in Peckham was not the most opportunities in the world, do you know what I mean? It wasn't the greatest opportunity. So I've done my music and it just it took me to meet people and different places. It took me out of my zone and so that's that's kinda where it started, if you know what I mean. And that, that once I realised that, I realised that hold on a minute, this is something I want to do permanently and you know that's where it's I'm here now. <laughs> yeah. And how important were connections to you? Sorry? Connections. So loads of people feel like they need to know someone in the industry to actually move forward or to even do free stuff. Like All right, what, in, other, in general, to, what, what would you advise us sort of thing? Yeah. Like, how, um, I think it's always good to get in amongst what's going on. Like, I think it's always key to that. Like, when I started, I was DJing, I sort of got into pirate radios, um, you know, getting at small little events. So I had friends that knew people that run events and stuff like that and I was just, I wasn't a pain because I, I didn't want to drive people mad and, or like put it on them because I think that's sometimes when you're a bit too much it, it, can, it can be a put off, do you know what I mean? So I just was consistent, showing people I'm busy, I'm active yeah. um, and then you know through time I met met up with two people that was like, well three people that were really key for me, um, there's a guy called Carl Collins um, who used to run Kicking Music, uh, Hard Leaders, they started Hard Leaders for it was just built around to to put our stuff from Liberty and Dillinger. Um, that's why the whole label started. It was Carl. Carl sort of brought me through with them guys, and I met I met up with um, some guys that were really big DJs at the time, and they're also from local area where I grew up. I've seen them for many years. Was, they was kind of like my idols, which is Jumping Jack Foss and Brian G. Um, Brian really took me under his wing, and from that point on, around '94, '95. I really got pushed from them guys, and them guys, you know, they're, they're responsible. Brian alone is responsible for people like Moby, and you know, like finding people like him, and you know, behind Ronnie Size, finding Ronnie Size, and you know, pushing people like Dylan Joe, and you know, so Brian's been a massive influence for me. Brian and Frost were a massive influence for me, and so going back to the original point, I think it's just about making, putting yourself in the right places, meet the right people, don't be a pain. <laughs> just be consistent and be cool, man. Just like if you're good at your job, talent will shine. Just put yourself so people can see your talent. Okay. That's a good advice. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think of the drum and bass scene at the moment? At the moment, the drum and bass scene is really healthy. Okay. Um, it's you know it's, it's popular still. It's, it's it's you know it's gone a little bit up back underground as well as being a bit commercial because some of the stuff is you know built for radio now and yeah. built for the masses, um, which is cool because I always feel that. It's, it's good to attract other attention from other people that are maybe not into drum and bass, a different genre of people that, you know, a lot of the kids now, they, they grow up on you know, EDM or whatever you want to call it, which I hate it, <laughs> I hate them words, but you know, like they're, they're into different music, different forms of dance music, so if drum and bass can, you know, attract new new people in, I think it's great, so, but I think in general, it's healthy, I play, I play all over the place, all around the world, you know, and every party more or less is, is really good and vibing. So a good strong young crowd coming through, which is the next generation. So where would you say would be the best place you've played so far? Oh, my favourite yeah. ever? Yes. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's a big question. Um, I think one of the best experiences I had, I played in Brazil for Skull Beats, which is the biggest festival in South America. Yeah. There was me, Roddy Sires, Fotec, uh, Stamina, Marky, um, my good friend Foxy, yeah, loads of us have been over there to play this festival. And it was just, we got treated like kings for starters, and you know, just it, their appreciation of the music is next level. Like, you don't realize until you see and you speak to some of the ravers, and they're like, I saved up for three months to come to this party because over there, money's tight. So, they appreciate every single second of that party, and they appreciate the artists, they appreciate the music. And I don't, it's just a vibe I got over there. 
that just made it special. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So for me, that was, uh, I wouldn't say that, I, I don't know, it's a, tough, <laughs> it's a really tough question, but you know, because I've played in Japan, America, Canada, you know, Japan was great, that was a really great experience, yeah. you know what I mean? But um, I think just the, the size of the party alone, it's the biggest festival in Seoul and South America, so that kind of sums it up. Yeah. You know, so that was a great party. So Brazil, Skull Beats, that's probably one of my favourites. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any artists that you haven't worked with and you would like to work with? Artists? Um, I've played with a lot, like a lot of the main DJs. There's not many DJs I've not played with on the same bill or um, you know, over the years, I don't think there's anyone really in terms of the bigger guys that I've never played on the same bill as, or or you know, rub shoulders with, or anything like that. Um, some of the new cats are more interested in. Like, I like, I like to see. I'm a, I like. I got a good ear. I like to sit back sometimes and watch, and listen. You know, yeah. and like, I think there's a lot of the new cats. That I'm, I'm more. I don't mean to knock the old cats, but um, <laughs> like from now at the moment, some of the young cats are so far advanced. That I, I find them a little bit more. I want to hear what they're doing. Yeah. Is it the next gen? Do you know? And I want to see where they're taking what we've all worked so hard to, yeah. to build and and sustain. Do you know what I mean? Because it's an underground movement. It's not. It's not a. It's not a big thing outside. It's, it's an underground sound. Do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's our sound. So we have got to make sure that that's looked after, nurtured, <laughs> right? <laughs> and what do you think of um, Team Drums as their brand? Team Chance is my boy Drips. He's been working hard for many years, man. We kind of, we like, you know, he was working hard, but he got involved with me and Fun and so on. And um, he's gone from, you know, strip to strip. He's a very talented young guy, very talented young guy who's on it. And I just think that what, what he's done with it is he's tried to use a brand that it kind of, it's like an umbrella for all the whole scene. It doesn't have to be one thing or another. It's like Team Drums, we're all together. Right? It's a, it's a drummer based thing, we're all a family and I think it's, I think it's wicked, I think it's yeah. really good, I just think it's, you know, it's just, it's a brand, it's, it's, it's something for everyone to look at and it's not about one thing, yeah. it's just, a, it's a family thing and that, that's what I think is unique about it, it's team drums, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, and what do you feel like um, people can take away from drips, what has he done well to get this far? Um, it's a, I don't, I don't know if, I don't want to speak out of place or anything, but, um, you know, he was, he was a young guy, he was, he was amongst the crowd, he was, you know, and he was a talented guy, and he, what he's done is he's took the music, and he's done more or less what I've done, he's, he's took himself out of, I don't want to say the ghetto or the road or whatever, but his music and what he's done is, he, you know, I think a lot of people can look from that, like, and, and just say, look, look, you know, there's a young guy, he's coming through, and on top of that, he's actually, the way he's getting a brand together, the way he's trying to market himself, I think that's, any young artist should take note of them kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that's great. I think that's so anyone who wants to look at that, you've got to look around at some of the young cats and what they're doing and raise your game. Because yeah. these guys are, you know, they're coming through like when I was doing it, when I started out, I weren't getting rough stuff t-shirts made or you know, I was just turning up with a bag of dub plates, like, you know, just playing. Like the way the market's become really key in, yeah. in music now and, and in general, anything. So I think what what you can take from what he's doing with Team Drums is the fact that you can do as a young artist, you can support yourself, get something up and running, and use it as a tool to promote yourself too. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I just think what he's done is, is great. Um, you know, big things for Team Drums. That's great. Yeah. And what do you think of um, Team Drums? What does that mean to you? It means dress. Yeah. It means dress. When I see the word Team Drums, I think of him. And then I think about all the people that are kind of supporting it. And look on, when I look on timelines and things like that, and I see, um, Hashtag team drums and that. So it just means that there's a sense of community within it. Like um, people are are about it. Do you know what I mean? So it's positive. Yeah. That's for me. It's positive. All right. Well, people who don't have you on social media, how can they reach you? You can follow me on Twitter at DJ Rustoff, Instagram at DJ Rustoff, Facebook fan page DJ Rustoff. <laughs> um, and yeah, just 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 Google me. You'll find me. Man. It's ugly <laughs> boat. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome.